Hey everyone. This video has been exclusively made to address the concerns of pregnant and breastfeeding women infected with COVID-19. If your sister, your daughter, or your wife is pregnant, share this video with them, which will help them relieve their anxiety regarding pregnancy and breastfeeding during the coronavirus disease crisis. The sole purpose of this video is to clear any doubts that might be lingering around with the little knowledge that we have about COVID-19 and its effects on pregnancy and childbirth and also its effects on breastfeeding infants. I know a lot of you may have a lot of questions while the COVID-19 is rampant. I will do my level best to address your concerns and will keep you updated with the latest recommendations as and when they become available. In a small study in pregnant women with COVID-19 pneumonia, Intrauterine transmission, which in its literal terms means the transmission of the virus to the baby while in the mother's womb, has not been found and no maternal deaths have been documented as yet. However, there appears to be an increased frequency of preterm labor, which is the possibility of delivering the baby before the completion of nine months and cesarean delivery because of abnormal fetal heart rate tracings, which actually can happen during any fever-producing illnesses, and COVID-19 is no different. This occurs in cases where the mothers are severely ill. Pregnancy and childbirth did not worsen the course of pregnancy in these patients who have been studied. Some mothers have also recovered without undergoing delivery also. And the approach towards prevention, the evaluation, diagnosis, and management or treatment of these pregnant women with suspected COVID-19 should be similar to that of any non-pregnant individual. It is unknown whether the virus can be transmitted through breast milk or not. The only report of testing we have at hand found no virus in the maternal milk of six patients. However, droplet transmission could still occur through close contact during breastfeeding. So the mothers with confirmed COVID-19 or even those who are symptomatic and are suspected to be having COVID-19 should take precautions to prevent transmission to the infant during breastfeeding. And this includes hand hygiene and the use of face masks. Alternatively, to minimize the direct contact, the infant can be fed by expressing breast milk by another caregiver until the mother has recovered, provided that the other caregiver is healthy and follows hygiene precautions. In such cases, the mother should use strict hand washing before pumping and wearing a face mask during pumping. And if possible, the pumping equipment should be thoroughly cleaned by a healthy person. And women who choose not to breastfeed must take similar precautions to prevent transmission through close contact when formula is fed to the infants. Encapsulating all the discussion that we've had in this video, in summary, I'd like to comment on a few important things based on the available clinical and research data we have. The clinical characteristics of patients with COVID-19 infection presenting from mid-trimester onwards are similar to those of non-pregnant adults. Currently, there is no evidence that pregnant women are more susceptible towards COVID-19 infection and that those with COVID-19 infection are more prone to developing severe pneumonia if they are pregnant. We do not have any evidence to prove that. There is also no evidence of vertical mother-to-baby transmission of COVID-19 infection when the maternal infection manifests in the third trimester. And lastly, we, the Procyon Private Limited family, would like to pay our tribute to all the frontline medical professionals who are working tirelessly to bring the COVID-19 epidemic under control. To all those frontline health workers around the globe who are working against COVID-19, 